Hey everybody, Grimer here, coming at you once again from the Zawa Together server, and uh, apparently I have company. <laughs> I think everybody on the server right now is currently just hiding in my base. <laughs> so yeah, these guys are just paying me a little bit of a visit, apparently. Uh, <laughs> hi guys. I actually don't know why they're here, but they're creeping me out because they're just kind of sulking around here. And they pretend like I can't see them. They're like Drax from uh, from Endgame or Infinity War, where he's like, "I've mastered the art of holding so incredibly still that I cannot be I become invisible to the naked eye." That's not true. I can totally see them. <laughs> like they they say so they can't see us. Like I'm some kind of T-Rex. I can see you guys. <laughs> anyway, we've got some stuff to do today, <laughs> due to T-Rex. Uh, <laughs> but. Anyway, we've got some stuff to do today, so let me uh, take power nap because it's actually nighttime right now, and uh, see if they're still here in the morning. Nope, oh, they're still here. They're definitely still here. Oh yeah, they're they're still here. Yep, there they are. Anyway, hopefully the creepers are all dead up there. Not really. They're gonna be around. They're still gonna be around. I gotta be on my guard when I go come up here. What terrible things burning up in the in the sunlight? All right, well, we still got creepers to be creeping, and I really don't want them to get the reindeer because uh, the reindeer is kind of the name of the game today, actually. I'm going to actually be trying to build myself a reindeer exhibit uh, because that's the next uh, next thing on the list. Excuse me, uh, I need this creeper to get my get its attention over here so that I can shoot it in the face. Oh, I shot the spider in the butt instead. <laughs> I would leave the area to clear the mobs, but unfortunately the entire server is here at the moment. So anyway, uh, over here is where we're going to be building the uh, the reindeer exhibit. Now, I haven't plotted this out at all in my head, so I'm going to be doing what I usually do, and that is winging it. But reindeer live in, like, tundra areas, don't they? Like, uh, it, it's like permafrost-like areas, don't they? Like, yeah, I'm thinking... I actually don't know where reindeer live, to be honest, but I'm thinking that that's where they live. I'm going to do a little bit of research before I actually start building this thing. But we're going to go for a kind of a colder area looking air this isn't gonna make a lick of sense for it being here <laughs> on a tropical island but we're gonna go for like a colder area if we can and I uh, I'm gonna have to redo some of the actually I don't want to get too crazy with redoing any of the landscape because I'm gonna be building the landscape here like like a lot uh, that's gotta be an upcoming live stream there's gonna be live I keep saying that there's gonna be a live stream coming up here soon where we're gonna do a lot more of this terraformation and get a lot more of this island built it's looking really good oh, there's a creeper up there can I hit him from here you think that is a really long shot Oh, I don't know if I can hit... Wow. Ah! I don't think I got him. I probably just killed an animal on accident. Yeah! I don't know. That's probably kind of in the right, the right ballpark. It'll be a miracle if I hit that thing. That was a little too far, actually. Oh, that was close. Oh, I got him! <laughs> burn, baby, burn. Please tell me he dies. I'm not going to be able to hit that shot again. No, he survived. He's still alive. But he should be nice and soft. Let's go kill him quick. Give me your gunpowder. Give me your gunpowder. Gunpowder. Let me police my arrows. These were uh, these were not misses. They are practice. Anyway, like I was saying before, I got distracted by the creeping creeper there. Um, Tundra, I think, is where they uh, they actually live, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to be trying to build kind of like an area like that. Now, we're going to have to plot this out a little bit. Oh, I got a bunch of random crap in my inventory. Here, uh, Orca Whale, do you... Oh, I'm, I'm like starving to death. Orca Whale, do you want... Oh, guys, steal the reindeer. Don't steal the reindeer! I'm trying to build an exhibit for that. Uh, let's go ahead and drop him some boots. There you go, in case you wanted some boots. Uh, here's some rotten flesh. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And uh, I want the bones. Uh, actually, I want everything else. So you, you eat the rotten flesh and the golden boots. I'll take everything else. But anyway, yes, a random guy gave us that reindeer a while back. And I think it's time we build an exhibit for it. I might actually have to go hunting for some more reindeer, too. But what we should do is plot out uh, the the like exhibit itself, like the outlying area, if we can. Uh, I did, went and recently dug up a bunch of stone and left all of it down there where the entire server is waiting for me. So... Uh, I'm gonna have to go grab some of that, but we're gonna plot out the back part of this exhibit now as far as getting the path over here is Hmm, how are we gonna do that? Like it's gonna cut down this way And I was just gonna have it kind of hug the shoreline, but that's a lot That's a like a lot of area for a, rain, a reindeer. I guess it's I guess it's not actually when you think about it We need we need to actually have We need to actually have like room for them to prance around and stuff so we can actually kind of spread this out so Yeah yeah, I can probably go make this a little bit bigger than 
than just a, a small. I, I mean, I, I said in the last episode too that I was going to be, or in the second to last episode that I was going to be putting in bigger exhibits anyway. So we're going to do that. But I, I do want to leave a little bit of an area here because this has to be kind of like terraformed to fit the rest of the island. And then it's going to be over there, I think, is where the exhibit is. But let me go grab some stone real fast. <laughs> All right, let's watch him build his god builds. I'm about to put down some stone. You're going to be blown away, buddy. All right, so. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's get to work on placing maybe the outline of this exhibit. Ah, uh, when I think about it, actually. Yeah, no, I might want to leave this right where it is. This hillside right here. I might want to leave this right here because uh, when I'm going to be terraforming, like, the backside of the exhibit, I'm going to need to have some ground, you know? So I'm going to probably leave that right there. So how about we do... I'm going to leave uh, right where they're standing. Is I'm going to have to leave some terrain, too, so then... This part need to be raised up probably a little bit. Eh, maybe I can work with it. I don't know. But let's actually say right there. Bam. Be amazed. One block. All right. So let's go ahead and actually outline this exhibit where we're going to put the thing. And we're going to say roughly right about something like this. All right. That looks pretty good. Uh... Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. That looks pretty good for a uh, reindeer exhibit. I mean, it's 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 eh, actually let's look at the mini map real fast. It's about the same size as the zebra exhibit, so that's pretty good. I'm not going to complain about that at all, actually. Uh, if I wanted to make it any larger, I'd either go a little bit farther back here or make it closer to the zebra exhibit, but I don't really want to do that because, uh, like I said, I need to put some land in between there to make it look like it's divided up. So, all right, let's go ahead and actually raise this up a little bit. Still. Minecraft's greatest lawnmower, the water bucket. All right, so got to get rid of some of this foliage here, some of these uh, flowers and rose bushes, because they're not really going to fit very well on a tropical island. We're just going to set them over here on the beach so that they can just go chill and relax and get a suntan. All right, you guys just stay right there for about five minutes or so. All right, now, we got this area raised up here also with a little bit of help uh, from our friend Happy Tiger over there. Uh, we went ahead and raised up the uh, the land a little bit here. So now we actually have this kind of level. That way I can have the path kind of going right in front of it there. <clears throat> if not, I can also raise this up too a little bit if I, if I really need to. Now, we need to kind of plot out where the front of this exhibit is going to be. And I wouldn't mind actually recessing the ground just a wee bit because we got to do that thing with the stair blocks again if we're going to keep it all uniform, you know, with like the... Uh, you know, with like the, the fences and stuff, the steel bars that they they made so that you can jump over and it really annoys me. We're, if we're going to keep it uniform with the other exhibits, though, we're going to need to do that. I guess I could... Um, what are they? Rope fences? These things? Yeah. I could also switch to these, which we've used for decorations before, and that would, that would probably work too. But nah, I'll stick with the steel bars. I think they look clean. I think they look really nice. But we are going to need uh, some... We're, we're gonna need we're gonna need to mark out where that's gonna go. Like we're gonna need to mark out the front of the exhibit, which should just be a simple connection point between this point here and that point there. All right, something kind of like that. Looks like people are killing each other, so they're having a good old fun time. Yep, somebody died. Somebody died in the zoo. Rip. All right, so <laughs> uh, we we can go ahead and probably fill this in with the actual. Uh, stair blocks now. Let me uh, whip those things up real fast because I, I still have some extra stones still on me. But let's go ahead and make ourselves a bunch of stairs because this is how we're going to keep people inside or keep the reindeer inside without them ho hopping over. Now that looks bad. I'm going to have to fix that real quick. Now because I don't want this to be just a flat area plus uh, and also because I need to lower this ground so that the, the reindeer can't jump out. Uh, I need to go ahead and level this ground down or uh, uh, dig down this ground a little bit right here so that this is like at this level right here all right because then i can put the the steel bars on top of this and then the reindeer will be stuck in there forever and ever uh but if i keep them at this current level they this, they can just jump right over the steel bars <laughs> so i gotta at least lower it down in the front now i do want to add a little bit of elevation change to this because the tundra that these things live in is primarily flat but oh gg to ran uh random guy there they uh getting returned to sender it's primarily flat, but I don't want it to be completely. So I wanted to have a little bit of elevation change, and maybe we'll put a little bit of a change right in the back area right here. Something like that. And then we'll have it slope gradually down in the exhibit down this way. But it's got to be one block lower right in front for sure. Otherwise, the reindeer could just escape. Okay, there we go. That should work. Uh, that should definitely work in keeping the reindeer inside, that's for sure. Uh, I don't think they're going to escape, except for maybe right here. They might escape right here. Let's get rid of that. And let's fix that. Okay, look at, look at me being completely unprofessional. Okay, perfect. Done. 
I think this should keep the reindeer in place. I, it seems my posse seems to have uh, gone elsewhere. So. <laughs> all right, so uh, that gives me a little bit of time to focus just on this here. Uh, all right, so now this is the basic shape, but we do have to design this. It looks like uh, reindeer are also known as caribou. Did a little research ahead of time. They live in tundras, which is, is good. Snowy areas primarily, or tundra-like areas. So I don't want to make this like totally snow covered. I do want to make this a little snow covered. I don't even know if snow will, will work in this area. I didn't even bother to test that. So that might be a big old. Da -da -da. If that's the case, we'll make it work with something else, or make it maybe use snow layers because I don't think those melt. I'm not too sure, but we'll we'll give it a whirl. We'll give it the good old college try if <laughs> to get snow in here. But all right, so I need to pick out a block palette for this. Now here is going to be the trick, okay? Because uh, let's look in the ground blocks for a second. Gravel, mm-hmm, good. Uh, maybe some coarser, mm-hmm, good. All right, but uh, as far as what I really want to use, I want to use things like ice. But uh, maybe not ice ice, but like uh, like hardened ice. Let's go take a little trip down here real quick. Okay, I have I have quite a bit of packed ice. I can use that. That's good. Now there is a thing. There's a thing in this thing called. Uh, let's just look up ice for a second. Maybe it's not a thing anymore, but I thought there was something called like uh, hardened ice in the uh, in the cold desert biome. And if I'm not mistaken, and it might be, so this could be completely wrong. But if I'm not mistaken, there is a there's a cold desert biome someplace. <laughs> okay, it looks like we don't actually have a cold desert anymore. It looks like it's called the Tundra Basin now, which is good because trying to make a tundra. You know, that's kind of what it's supposed to be. But it doesn't look like they have that hardened ice there anymore, unfortunately. So we're going to have to do this the good old-fashioned way with regular ice and uh, and packed ice and stuff. <laughs> Alright, I've got snow blocks. I've got uh, jack-o'-lanterns that I can make. I could actually make a snow golem and make a whole bunch of snow. Alright, so this could this could work. This could work. Let's just kind of do a, a chew. Alright, and then we're going to put those back immediately. And then let's just pick this guy up and let's see if we can't get a little bit of a snow factory put somewhere in here all right now I have no idea if this is gonna work in this biome but we're about to find out all right good news he's not dying bad news is he's not producing snow <laughs> all right so I'm not I'm not sure this guy can produce snow in this biome it is a rose field so hmm maybe I got to go build this elsewhere all right, well, that's really upsetting. Okay, so I don't think that we're gonna be able to farm snow here. I could actually just move the farm elsewhere if we really wanna uh, farm up snow. But the question is, is does it even matter? Because <laughs> can snow exist in a rose field? Like, that's not something that I, I think you can just ask Google or something like that, you know? So uh, let's just do a little experiment. Let's do one layer, two layers, and three layers. And let's see if any of those things melt. Okay, I've sat here for a while now, <clears throat> and uh, none of them have melted. So, I'm thinking that this might actually work when it comes to uh, placing down snow layers, at least. So, it looks like snow layers can't form here, you know, like under a snow golem, but it also doesn't look like they melt. So, that's a plus. At least, uh, at least I can make this work. Alright, so let's talk pallet then, as far as... Uh, other than snow, because I can always throw the snow on top. Definitely throw in some packed ice, especially if I want... I kind of want to make, like, a frozen river-looking thing here. If that makes any sense. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Kind of want to do, like, a frozen river. Maybe even carving all the way down this, okay? Uh, and the caribou, I think, can go, or the reindeer can actually go in, in the water. I don't think they're going to get hurt by that. So, uh, maybe we can carve out a little uh, river right here. Okay, I know that's nothing fancy, but that's all right. The decoration is going to be in the frozenness of it. That's going to make it pop. All right, now packed ice can survive in the nether, so I highly doubt it's going to melt here in the rose fields. In fact, I don't think this melts at all. So, all right, let's go ahead and line the edge of this. Now, I don't know. Eh, that's actually a really good question. I know I didn't ask a question, but that's actually a really good question. Does regular ice melt here? If snow doesn't melt, I don't think regular ice would, as long as it's not near a light source. So... 
I don't have any ice ice though. No ice ice baby. So let's um I can probably get some up here though. So why don't I don't go take a trip and get some regular good old fashioned ice so I can sprinkle that in with this. There is an ocean monument right there. Hmm. How about them apples? Um, I don't know. Yeah, you can't even see that on the map. I don't know if anyone knows that's there. Ha! <laughs> well, I have a trident that I believe can come back to me. Do I, did I put that in here? I'm going to get wildly sidetracked while I'm up here. I do. Why don't we go and have a little bit of fun? Let me make some room in my inventory real quick by putting some backpacks in there. Uh, the bat backpack especially, since <laughs> if I lose that, I am going to cry. All right, why don't we go have some fun oops, in the uh, in the ocean monument, if I can get out of this small little pond. All right, now, ocean monuments can be very dangerous. You should definitely wear good armor. I am wearing an elytra, okay? I don't have my good armor with me, but where's the entrance to this thing? It's on the other side, it looks like. Now, oh, no, it's on this side right there. Okay, I see the little thingy things. I am going to get hit with the mining fatigue thing for sure, but I'm not really worried about drowning because I got a really good respiration helmet on and a backpack that allows me to breathe completely underwater, so I'm not really worried about that. Is that the entrance? I think that's the entrance. All right, so we're gonna just go. We're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna send it. Here we, go. here we go. Ready? This is how you enter an ocean monument. In. All right, now where do I go? I also want to collect some of these things, so I'm gonna be mooching these. Nope, never mind. I'm not gonna be mooching nothing anymore. All right, we gotta find those elder guardians and take them out. Ooh, Spongebum, absolutely, I need I need that. I need that in my life. Now, I think I still have some milk in one of the backpacks I have stored in my end chest, so I can always get that. Oh, there's another Spongebum, that's amazing. If I ever need to get rid of water and something, that's like the easiest way, so I definitely wanna get at least, you know, I don't know, like 20 some sponges. I don't really need a whole lot, I just need some. I need to get, find my way to those elder guardians, though. All right, here's one elder guardian right here. Die! Actually, since I can't block, what I can do is put my looting sword in my other hand, and hopefully I can get some uh, extra drops from these guys. Super hacks with Grimer. All right, there's one, and I'll gladly take the sponge. In okay, case so you guys are wondering, this trident is rocking uh, Unbreaking 3, Impaling 5, Loyalty 3, Mending, and there's a bad guy about to shoot me in the face. I like how the Prismarine actually changes colors. In case you guys didn't know that, Prismarine changes colors. It is blue, for sure. It is definitely blue right now. But it'll change to this aqua color, too. It just kind of slowly fades between color changes. Look it up. It's a real thing. There's another one. Found another one. Just went around the corner, and he just about shot me in the face. And he's dead. Let me grab that sponge, please. Thank you. There should be one more up top. Excuse me, mister. Pardon me. Now, how to get up top. That is a completely different question. Okay, found the treasure room, so the, there's gold blocks in there, as well as a whole buttload of these things in here about to, to hit me with their little laser beam eye things. Oh, I found another sponge room, that's really good. So there's three sponge rooms in here, wow, that's actually a really good find. Oh, I hear it, I'm close, I'm close, let me at it. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. There it is, hi big boy, I'm gonna poke you in the butt with my ocean fork. Alright, you know what? I go with a, a sword, good old fashioned sword then. All right, there, that should be all the Elder Guardians. How much uh, mining fatigue do I have? Two minutes, that sucks. All right, well, here's hoping I really do have that in one of these backpacks. Do I have milk in any of these backpacks? It's hard to tell, right here, I do. I em emptied it out on accident once, but I did actually, look at this, I even have a bucket, look at me go. Dump that thing out, hopefully the water doesn't get everywhere. All right, let's <laughs> open this up, grab this. Let's give ourselves a little bit of milk. All right, there we go. Now, my other effects should take place immediately because they're on my backpack, but that should get rid of the mining fatigue. Now, we need to collect a few uh, a few more sponges before we leave here. There was three sponge rooms, so let's go find them quick, real quick. One eternity later. All right, a little over one and a half stacks of sponges. Good stuff. I got just over half a stack of sea lanterns, too. I'm not going to go too greedy on those things, because I have a feeling we're going to need to turn one of these places into a farm. And so we got high, so we can <laughs> so we can get an uh, infinite amount of those. So I'm not too worried about it. I am worried about being able to find my way out of here, though. Aha, found my way out. All right, now, getting out of here in style. If, oh, no, I can't. I can't jump. I can't activate my lights. You're underwater. No. There we go. Airborne. 
All right, now let's get back home. I got ice. I got uh, an ocean monument raided. Nice. All right, let's get back home. Okay, sponges are cooking. Let's get our inventory back sorted out here a little bit. Stash the uh, ocean fork back in here and grab our backpacks out of here. We're going to need them here because we are going to be doing some building. Okay, so all of that, <laughs> all of that that we just did right there was to answer or was to get ice. And I don't even know if it's going to melt in this biome, okay? Now, it's a little rainy and crappy right now, but that's okay because uh, I didn't sleep last night because I was in an ocean monument. So it's raining right now. That's all right. And if it starts thunderstorming, then it's less okay. That, that zebra is way up there, isn't it? All right, so let's just like slap one of these things down kind of where I would want it and let's see if that melts. Now, boy, with this texture pack on, you really can't tell the difference between these two, can you? But I tell you what, we're going to act like uh, like it's totally not going to melt because even if it does, it's going to fill it up with water and we want that to happen anyway. So uh, we're going to put down some, uh, some ice along the edge here where it would have been frozen. Now, this is packed ice I'm putting down. Uh, and then we're going to, uh, oop, now right there, hold on, pick that back up. And then we're going to dot in a little bit of ice as well with it. So most of this is going to be completely froze over, if not the entire thing. Um, now, I'll know pretty quickly if this is going to melt in this biome, <laughs> because we're going to have a, a bunch of these things down, so, you know, we'll, we'll be able to see. You know, I don't think it's going to melt. Hasn't melted yet. As the sun sets here and it starts getting a little bit darker, you can see a difference actually between these two types of ice. Oh, and it's clearing up too. Do I get a rainbow? Oh no, because it's not. Oh, hold on. Can I sleep real quick? Can I get a rainbow? Rainbow. Rainbow! There we go. <laughs> cool thing about this. Oh, it's, it's going to fade really quickly, but after it rains, if the sun's coming up from over there, you get yourself a rainbow. I mean, I guess if it's going down over there, or the rainbow would have been the other way, but I think the sun was too far gone. So look at that. We got ourselves a rainbow. I love this shader. Complimentary shaders, in case you guys are wondering. All right, so now um, I guess I should probably fill in the bottom of the uh, the water first before uh, before I actually flood this thing in completely. So let's go ahead and grab uh, not, only, uh, not our water bucket, but the ground blocks. All right, so we're going to be doing a little bit of stuff like gravel. And coarse dirt for sure. I need that backpack desperately in my life. Man, my inventory sucks. All right, so let's grab, let's grab some uh, of these things. We're going to throw dot the bottom of the river with these because I think this will probably make the most sense for this area that I'm going to be going with. All right, there we go. Maddie just joined. Let's give her a solid wave. Hey, if you're watching this and you want to come join this server and play here right alongside me and be one of the posse like there was in the beginning of the episode. Um, you guys can join this server, by the way. It is open to all my $5 Patreons and uh, patrons. So if you guys head over to the link in the description of the Patreon, sign up for the $5 tier, and voila, just join the Discord and put your name in the IGN whitelist, and you can be added to the server. Just FYI. Okay, my inventory is really bad. So what we're going to do right here, I have plenty of fish. So what we're going to do is we're going to set these fish free back in the ocean to get rid of them, and we don't need any pumpkin seeds. Quick way to dispose of them. We're going to feed it to the orcas. <laughs> All right, so frozen river put down. I'm thinking that looks pretty good. And before we get to putting the water in there, I'm actually going to work on the riverbed itself. In fact, I'm going to work on the whole terrain, and then we'll dot the water in probably last. All right, so block pallet. Uh, gravel and coarse dirt, definitely good. Stone, I'm thinking, is going to be a good idea as well. And, of course, path blocks. We're going to be sprinkling snow over the whole thing. Just kind of make it work. And these uh, blocks here, these elevation increases, I want to make these kind of smooth in with snow. I don't have a lot of snow, so we're probably going to have to take another trip before this is all done. But that's the plan. So first we're going to start with stone. We're going to put stone in. Okay, the stone has been put in, dotted throughout the entire landscape. That actually took quite a while. Uh, this is a very large exhibit, apparently. Larger than uh, what I was imagining in the first place. But that's okay. We're going to roll with it. Now, I think the next block we're going to be adding is the coarse dirt. I think that'll look good once we get that all sprinkled in here. I might need to go make a little bit more because I'm not, not sure I have enough on me right now. Bat backpack, where are you? I need you desperately. Where, where are you? Don't let me down. Four pieces. You never let me down. Finally, the coarse dirt has been added. Now, I want to sprinkle in a little bit of gravel, but I don't want to go too heavy on this. I want to just kind of dot this in occasionally here or there. Just kind of change it up so that there's not the same monotone gray color for just the stone blocks in here. Kind of just... You know, the, the game gives us so many different types of grays, we might as well actually use them. I keep, man, this haste, this haste is killing me. I gotta go deactivate that. It's just killing me when I'm trying to just knock out like one or two, just one block, really. That's, a, that's the worst part. But I, I do want to just kind of dot this in here just a little bit, just to break up, like I said, the monotone color of the stone block, just the regular stone. I think that looks, I think it looks good. It's just that I think that having just a little different texture mixed in there makes everything look a lot better. 
Okay, like I said, not too much on the gravel. Kept that very light. Now, there is one other block I want to add into this. As I've been doing this, the work in here, I've been kind of thinking, hold on, wait, bad backpack. I need to just put it in my life. Let's put the coarser back, and we're going to probably squeeze the rest of these into some backpack here, too, to get them out of our inventory. But let's get back into the bad backpack, because this puzzle is the block that I was thinking of, all right? I want to put this in here, too, because this is like a brown grass, and it would absolutely make sense to see patches of this in the tundra. Boy, that haste. I am going to go deactivate that real quick. One second. Okay, now that that is deactivated, we can get back to putting in the pods. I'm going to sprinkle this in here. I think this actually does look really good for a Tundra-esque look. And now you can probably think of this as kind of more of a slimy block because mushrooms like to grow on it. But it is just a brown block on the top when you think about it that looks like grass. And since a lot of the grass in a Tundra, that well, it kind of goes into like winter, you know, hibernation kind of thing. So it looks kind of brownish. So I think this will make a lot of sense here. Oh, yeah. That is looking more like a tundra terrain now. I'm liking how this is turning out. Now, we gotta do something to make this more wintry. I could sprinkle ice into this as well, and it wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, but I think I'm gonna hold off on that for just a second. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working on, hello, open please. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, oh, actually you can go back into the bat backpack so I know where you are. Put that back into the bat backpack, there we go. Um, let's move on to like the snow. Now I don't have a lot of snow, okay? But I do have the ability to make snow golems, they just, apparently don't work in uh, in rose fields okay so and and I want to find more reindeer too um, I have found them before I just don't rem remember where they were they were somewhere on top of them like mountain like Alps or something like that there's someplace frozen um, but let's uh let's grab some stuff to make a um, another s uh, snow golem and then give me that please and these things will just eat on the ground just to disappear and then what we'll do is we will head off to go find an area where I can build a snow golem and then we'll collect a bunch of snow layers. You know, I wonder if the deep ocean would work. I was just flying away from here, but I wonder if this is actually looking real cool. Like when I finish the terrain, the zoo is going to be amazing. I'm starting to really feel it now, but uh, I wonder if the deep ocean would be a good spot. I think you can actually put snow there. I'm not too sure, but let's actually check because I have like a river or something like right next to this here. Rivers, I think, do it too, but... See if I can actually find. Okay, the, the mini map's not working. Okay, lukewarm ocean. That's not great. Um, river, beach, river, right here. All right, ten million dollar question. Yes, he is. Okay, he is producing snow. Sweet. So we can just collect it right here if I can get up here. There we go. We can just collect the stuff right here. Now I do have silk touch on this shovel, so yes, it does collect the snow layers. That's what I like to see. All right, let's start collecting some of the stuff and destroy the durability on my shovel. All right, Snow Golem, you've done well. You just chill in there for a little bit because I might not be done with you. All right, but I did manage to get a whole lot of snow layers now. So let's go start dotting this into the exhibit. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to layer it up, especially on where it slopes a little bit, to kind of blend in that slope just a wee bit. So let's quickly uh, just start dropping these things in here then. Like I said, layer it up here so that it, it kind of, like I said, blends it in a whole lot more so that it looks like it, it kind of... I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to tell you. I'm just trying to say it so it looks like it fades it in a little bit here. Okay, kind of like that. Okay, we added up the snow kind of piled up almost like the wind was catching it and kind of getting it caught right here. Okay, so now what we got to do is go nuts and just sprinkle this all in all over the place. <laughs> With not a lot of snow layers to go. I think that's it. Okay, wow, that is... Really snow covered, actually more than I thought. When I was actually up in here, like uh, working on it, I was like, "Oh yeah, this looks great." But when you get down here to the viewing area, it is a lot of snow. I guess that's fine. I mean, it is a tundra-looking area, right? I think at this point we're ready to add the water. Uh, so let's grab our water bucket and let's just go to town on this thing here. Let's actually drop right there and go grab some water out of the ocean. Nice warm salt water to add in here. I'm sure that's totally fine. Uh, and we'll drop that in here, and then we'll just start filling this in. Okay, water has been added, so that adds a nice little frozen river kind of going down the middle of it, which I think, I think looks really cool. Okay, so with the water added, and a ton of snow added, it looks like this exhibit is just about done as far as the blocks are placed. We're moving on to the foliage, okay? Let's get the plants backpack out here and see what damage we can do. What is there? Okay, so this eucalyptus tree, that's... never mind. I was going to say, that looks cool. Okay, whatever this is... Kachia? 
I have 10 of them, and they're white, which looks probably pretty cool in the snow. So we're going to do that. We're also going to add some of this right here, some water. Nope, those go on water. Never mind. <laughs> I think those are a type of flower that actually sit on water. Some dead grass will probably make sense in there, too. Desert grass, not so much. Although, it will probably work on things like uh, the coarse dirt. We will bring that down. That might actually might actually come in handy. Uh, I think I still have some dead bushes, too. We're going to sprinkle that in, too. Remember, this is because it's supposed to be kind of representing like it's frozen over, okay? So, where does these things go? Can I place these on anything? I don't think I can place these on any block that I have in here. Never mind. These things are going back into the, <laughs> the backpack. Um... But dead grass, I think, is a must. Dead bushes are a must. Now, I, it's because this place is supposed to look kind of frozen over, so it's not going to be super lush and lively. That's the reason why I'm adding things like this. Uh, yeah, it kind of makes it look dead, but, I mean, it's frozen, so, you know, what, what can you expect? <laughs> All right, yeah, the desert grass. I know that it does make a lick of sense for this to be in the tundra because it's in the desert, but it goes well on the coarse dirt, so I'm going to be sprinkling that in as well, too, just to give it a little bit of uh, variety here in the, uh, in the foliage. Okay, and then the dead grass. I'm pretty sure this goes on grass too. Yep, I'm just going to dot this in here too. Just every once in a while. Okay, I'm thinking that's probably it for the plants there. Now, we do have to add in like actual bushes and stuff. So let's go grab the bat backpack real quick. We're going to grab some of these brownish leaves and maybe some of the... Do the aspen leaves work? The aspen leaves might work. Let's actually see how those things... Eh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's dot in a couple of dead bushes kind of along the way here. Not dead. Winterized. Winterized bushes. <laughs> Pushes along the way here so that they look uh, so it looks kind of nice might have to throw some snow layers on top of the leaves if I can do that Oh, I can I absolutely can. Oh, yeah, that looks good Okay, I think that's good enough. Like I said, I don't want to overpopulate this with actually I don't think this is a like I said moment I think I haven't actually told you this. I don't want to overpopulate this with too many plants because it is supposed to be a tundra open It's like frozen plains basically is what I'm going for here all right, let's put away all of these uh, leaf blocks now because I think we're good on that. Now, there aren't really any trees in the tundra, okay? I do want to add a tree in here or two. I'm thinking a spruce tree would probably work the best. So I got to go grab a sapling. I also got to get this to be sleeping because creepers be creeping. So I'm going to go grab a sapling. Maybe just a good old-fashioned... You know what? Maybe we'll do a custom one. Actually, do I need to go grab a sapling then? Do I have spruce leaves? I do have spruce leaves. You know what? We're doing a custom one. I'm pretty sure I have uh, spruce wood too. Um, I have four logs. Oh, no, never mind. I have it right here. All right, sweet. Yeah, we're doing a custom tree. Now, I do want to keep this tundra-esque open plains kind of feel going. So these trees, I'm not going to be putting right smack dab in the middle. All right, I'm going to probably be putting them on the outskirts. Probably on along the side here. Maybe one back there somewhere. So let's go ahead and just slap one down right here. Growing into stone makes no sense, I know, but whatever. And it's going to be kind of a scraggly looking thing. <laughs> All right. It's not going to be a very big tree either. This is going to be just like... A little one here. Let's, uh, oh boy, let's see if I can. Oop, got it. <laughs> Do a little one of these numbers here. We're gonna make ourselves a custom spruce tree and it's gonna look pretty sickly, too. Eh? I mean, it's not bad. I gotta add, like, a little bit of snow layers in places where it makes sense. Obviously, for the bit to have snowed, it would have landed on these blocks, like right there. And there's ones up here, too. I got it. Eh, luckily, I can place them on top of the block by looking at the side of the other one. Go Minecraft physics. Okay, yeah, that should work. I might have to go grab a little bit more uh, snow blocks here. But let's go ahead and actually have this thing kind of sticking into the ground a little bit. Maybe even sticking up on that side. I like that. All right, now, that is a custom, a small custom spruce tree. And I think that works pretty good for in here. Let's go actually look. Maybe let's, let's take a big step back. Maybe that ruined the whole tundra asp aspect of it. No, it did not. I don't think it did. I think this still looks like a good tundra, but I'm not sure if I do add another one. Like I said, it's got to be back there. Mm, I got to go grab a little bit more snow layers, but yeah, I think I'm going to add another tree back there. Okay, let's see how this tree looks. Not terrible, okay? I mean, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Actually, you know what? The more I'm staring at it, the more I like it. Okay, now, I'm thinking that's fine. I'm thinking that's good for the foliage with one exception. We need to add some tall grass, but I need to first sort my inventory because it sucks. Okay, we got ourselves a bunch of bone meal. Let's go get some tall grass added in here. Obviously, no flowers, at least no uh, roses and, and stuff like that because that's not going to like that. That's not gonna make a lick of sense out here. 
So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna make sure we eliminate all of them. And let's just get some good old fashioned tall grass put in out here. Get out of here, flower. Oh yeah, that really made it work. Now, it's incredible how much this exhibit pops without me actually adding path blocks. I was planning on doing that, but I think the podzel sort of takes that place. It's a brownish block, so I don't really know if I want to add any path blocks into this. I think this looks just fine. Now, it is, of course, missing one crucial, crucial detail. And I know you're screaming at the screen right now telling me what it is, because it doesn't look good on Squid Backpack unless it has... Where is it? Pebbles. Yep, that's right. Makes it look like little stones. We're going to add a couple of these things in here, too. Ta-da! See, that's what it was missing. All right, now let's put these back into the squid backpack, and we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some steel bars, because we got to put that across the front of this as the sun sets. Now, this should keep the reindeer in there, and we have one reindeer that we can make sure we can put in here, too, before we wrap things up. I do want to go look for some more. So by the time I do the next episode, I am going to try to have at least three reindeer. Okay, so I'm definitely going to be needing names for those. And if you guys could be so kind to go down in the comment section while I'm taking a nap here because creepers be creeping. Go down in the comment section and give me your best reindeer names if you could. I believe if we name one Rudolph, I think it actually does have a texture change. It changes into something else. But I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it does. Now, this is almost completely done. Is there any flowers whatsoever I can add in here that look cool? Okay, the cyan amaranth might work. The violet lavender flowers might work. Now, I don't want to go too nuts on this stuff. The azaleas could work. Aren't these too high, though? I don't want to go too nuts on this stuff because, obviously... <laughs> you know, I don't think there's going to be any flowers, to be honest. Like, normally, obviously, I have a little thing against flowers <laughs> since, like, I'm always removing them. But I do actually like adding them to exhibits. However, this is supposed to be like a frozen tundra, okay? Flowers are not going to be growing very well here. I think that this is about as good as it's going to get. All right, let's go grab our uh, let's go grab our reindeer that uh, a random guy gave us earlier in the season. Let's just kind of move him over here. We're gonna pen him up in here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we can absolutely ride these things. Yeah, that's right. One quick and easy way to get them over here is just say, "Yeah, ride, jump the fence." Oh, I didn't think about that. These things don't naturally jump on their own, do they? Because if they do, that could be a problem. I don't think they do though. Now, this guy's not going to drown in this water, is he? I don't think he can get down into that water. I'm trying, actually. I don't... Mm, yeah, he could get down here. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Hold on. I might I might tweak that just a little bit. I've done it. I'm the best. All right. <laughs> now, what about the other elevation drop? Does that have a, a four-wide gap? It does. Okay, so real quick. I'm the best. All right, there we go. That should keep them from being able to even fit in there because they need like a two-by-two, two, it looks like, to fit into there. Now, this guy can just roam free. I don't think he can get out of this pen. I guess I'll know soon enough, but I'm going to try to get two more reindeer to bring in here, or caribou, as uh, I guess they're actually known as. <laughs> and so hopefully, can I just hop this with that with the elytra? I can. There we go. So hopefully, uh, this will be the new reindeer exhibit. Now, I, I don't think that guy's going to despawn. I think he's going to stay right there. Let's actually observe him for a second. Is he just going to immediately hop out? He's like, see ya, and he just like takes off over the back wall. I don't think he can get out, but who knows? You know, maybe, maybe. Anyway. I think that's going to wrap things up, though, for this episode of Zawa. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, please go down and smash that like button. It would really help me out a lot. And thank you guys for joining me here on the Zawa Together server. Remember, if you guys do want to join, head down to my Patreon. The $5 tier and, uh, is able to get whitelisted on this server. So come and join me, build a zoo, have some fun. Alrighty, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy your weekend. I will see you guys next week. Thanks again. Bye-bye.